Hey everyone, in uh, this video I'm going to try uh, to use an SR04 so, uh, sonar detector in order to control a light bulb, making it turn on and off using an Arduino Uno. I want, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to take the SR04 module and I'm going to place it somewhere on the board. I already put the wires in. I'm just going to go through them to explain exactly how they go. Uh, the SR04 has four pins in the back. The one I'm using. Let me show you here. It has four pins. The first one on this side is the ground. The first one on this end is the five volts. And then you got the echo on this end and the trigger on this end in here. So I'm going to go ahead and place it on the board. And first of all, for the 5 volts and the ground is going to be easy to connect. So you take the 5 volts, you put it on the 5 volts on the Arduino. Ground on the ground. I uh, connected the trigger, which is the green wire in here, on pin number 6 on the Arduino. And the echo, which is the blue one, is going to pin number 5 on the Arduino. I reserved this orange one here for our relay because I'm going to be using a, a light bulb instead of an LED to, uh, to turn on and off. So I found this little wire that, uh, that I pulled off from Christmas ornament at some point that goes into the wall outlet. That's 120 volts. Uh, that's not DC. It's actually the alternating current but uh, the arduino doesn't have the capability to power this up so i'm gonna you plug this actually into the into the wall outlet while using a relay in here which is uh, the keys sr1y that's a solange key relay uh, to control to turn it on and off now this relay here has three pins on this end You've got the negative, you've got the positive, on this end you've got the signal. Negative and positive are straightforward. You take the negative and positive, you put them to the ground and the 5 volts. So the positive is actually the red one. Negative I'm using for black. Negative is going to go to ground on the here. And the positive in here. Which is connected to the 5 volts. And... The pin number 9 on the Arduino is going to actually go to control the relay, whether to turn it on or off. Now what I did in order not to destroy my wire in here is I took an extension cord and I spliced it, as you can see in here. After splicing it, I cut that spliced wire in, in from here and connected it to the, to the common which is the middle one and the normally closed, sorry, normally open because I don't want it to turn on unless I close the circuit myself because the relay has normally closed, common and normally open. I kept it on the normally open. So let's see if you can change vantage view from here. There you go. As you can see, if you can't see at all, uh, all you have to do is cut the wire in half if you want in here strip it a little bit put it inside the relay and using a screw driver you'll be able to tighten it and loosen it to make sure the wire doesn't come out what i did in order to because before i did not uh, tint the wires sometimes they will get loose so i tinted them so they become a little bit more secure in place so now everything here is connected, so I'm gonna go and gonna connect also my light bulb in here. All right, and I'm gonna move it this way so it doesn't turn on all the time. All right, there we go. How about if I move it this way? It's better. And then this, the extension cord, I'm going to connect it to the wall outlet right here. So I'm going to write a code right now to tell the SR04 to detect 
anything in between zero to 13 to 12.9 centimeters if you want and if they do to turn on the lights and if there's none if it doesn't to keep the lights off so i'm going to go into the sketch right now to show you how this is done and then i'm going to show you how this works after all right here's the arduino sketch that i uh, wrote beforehand a um, little description on the top that says that we're using the SRO4 to detect movement at 13 centimeters or less. Actually, that's not true, at uh, less than 13 centimeters. And, uh, and when it does, it just turns on the light for about 15 seconds. We start the sketch by defining the three uh, variables, uh, trigger pin at uh, 6, the echo pin at Arduino pin 5, and the bulb at, Ar at Arduino pin number 9. In the void setup, uh, nothing special going on. We're just starting the serial monitor by writing serial begin at 9600 baud and defining the trigger pin to output, the echo pin to input. The reason we do this is because the trigger pin sends out the pulses and the echo pin wait and listens for that pulse to come back in. That's why we set it, set it up to input. And the bulb also we set it up to output. Now, the magic happens in the void loop. We start the void loop by setting up two integers in here, duration and distance. That pulse that comes out from the trigger pin and it's received by the echo pin, we need to transform that information from whatever signals or uh, that it uses into actual centimeters. We do that by, first of all, we start, uh, we activate the trigger pin to high, so it will start sending out the signal. We wait about half a millisecond, then we turn it back off. By doing so, it keeps on pulsing, sending out signals every half a millisecond or so. Now, all that information that's being sent out by the trigger pin needs to be collected by the echo pin using the pulse in command. Uh, when that happens, we take that information received by the echo pin, we put it in the variable that we said before earlier, the duration in here. And we, of course, we set the echo pin to high. That duration by itself does not give me centimeters. Now, I take the information received by the duration and we transform it into distance using this formula in here. The distance is equal to the duration divided by 2 because the trigger pin sends out the pulses and the echo pin wait until it comes back and receives it. So we need to divide that by 2 because the echo pin only gets that information when the signal comes back so the information is sent by the trigger pin and it comes back so we need to make sure in order to get the actual distance we, we take that pulse divided by two and then we divide it by 29.1 to change it into centimeters now that we have all the information that we need we need to put it into an if statement in order to get the argument that we need so we start the argument by saying if the distance which is measured in here is less than 13 centimeters go ahead and execute the light subroutine the light subroutine is actually straightforward there's nothing to it it only do when it's activated it turns on the light bulb it waits for about 15 seconds and then it turns it back off and that's pretty much it and I'm, what i did extra is that i took the serial monitor and i wanted to always print the distance every half a second so i set it to print the distance and uh, once it prints the distance actually it puts a space and a centimeter after that so we know that we're measuring the distance in centimeters and we do it every half a second and that's about it let's go ahead and verify that it should verify i've done it in the past looking good and then we upload it to the Arduino and there we go it's all done so let's go ahead and see how it actually looks like when we let the Arduino do the job all right so now I have the light bulb in here I'm gonna put it here so it can be right on top of it if I want to and I put the ruler here to more or less simulate 13 centimeters. I put that screwdriver indicating where the 13 centimeters is. And if I move my hand, 
as you can see back and forth without actually reaching the 13 centimeters nothing happened see what happens when I do cross it light goes off sorry light goes on wait for 15 seconds There you go. So this demonstrate how the SR04 is able to send a signal to pin number nine saying that I detected a movement at about 13 centimeters and it will send the signal to the relay in order to close the circuit. And as you hear when I trigger it, you hear a little tick because the relay is actually a mechanical on off switch. Right now it's in the off position when I activate it, click, it goes to the on position, closes the circuit, turns the light on. All right, that's it for this video. I will be posting this, the, the sketch at the bottom and in the comment section. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. And until next time, uh, stay safe.